Well, it's time to wrap up this wild year and reflect on all the new tool and storage innovations. We're seeing some trends with what to expect in 2024 and beyond. What will professional trades start demanding and what does Ohio Power Tool need to stock up on? For now, Jay and I have this top 10 list that will change everything in 2024. Portable power supplies. Tapping into the power of our cordless batteries is nothing new. DeWalt DCB 1800, Ego, Nexus, Milwaukee, Carry-On, they've all been around for several years. Systems are rapidly expanding and now not only can we power a single device, but we're getting closer to powering a whole job site. At the Milwaukee Pipeline event, we saw the roll-on announced and the Ego PGX looks to be one of the most ambitious systems we've seen to date. Daisy chain these units together and simultaneously charge 70 Ego batteries off a single 15 amp outlet. If those were Ego 12 amp hour batteries, that would be 47,000 watt hours of power or more than three Tesla walls of juice. Assuming we were in a job site trailer or a van, install four high capacity solar panels on the roof and you're making that 15 amps just from parking in the sun. We have the technology. The only thing stopping us now is the cost of batteries. And over time, two things happen. We acquire more batteries and the price of batteries comes down, at least in terms of watt hours. Looking ahead, we think we'll see more temp power solutions and full construction crews using these battery banks to power everything that they need. So as I get larger and weaker, tools are getting smaller and more powerful. The trend of wanting more from less will never end. The 12 volt drills and impacts are literally more powerful today than the 28 volt and 36 volt from just over 10 years ago. For example, take the M12 Brad nailer that launched at this year's pipeline. Why not have an 18 gauge nailer that can fit into your tool belt? Or you can have the three inch pizza cutters that they call cutoff tools from Milwaukee and Walt. We got a video about those you can check out here. And lastly, the new M12 jigsaw that replaced the 2445 20 may it rest in peace. People just weren't ready for the barrel grip. No. In the arms of the Storage system explosion this year. We saw a lot of new brands getting into the game and we do not expect it to slow down anytime soon. Uh, as Milwaukee pack out, DeWalt Tough System, Bosch L-Box continue to grow exponentially. We see new options from the Flex Stack Pack, Klein Modbox, and several others hitting the scene. A lot of innovations and some different focuses on trade-specific solutions. We've also seen a growing industry around small businesses building these mods for these systems. For the most parts, we've seen the big brands accept these as good for the community and their systems, so they haven't squashed them yet. However, uh, fair warning to those guys that are successfully building these products, they're gonna become part of next year's round of system accessories probably. These also open the door for tools and accessories pre-packed into those system boxes as well as options for cordless lights, radios, chargers, etc. That all works into the system. Of course, this isn't a totally new idea. Festool has a cult following around these systems decades ago and everyone else is basically just catching up. To follow up closely on that trend, we are seeing a lot of new cordless high capacity rolling vacuums hit the market this year, like the M18 two battery units, the Festool CTC MIDI, or the Ego, what, whatever that's coming next year. Now that we have high capacity batteries that can get more than 10 minutes of runtime, why deal with finding an outlet to run the vac? All these vacs are amazing, respectfully, but nowadays it's all about the bedazzling of the system. If you can't stack your packs on top of the vacs, what are you even doing here? Festool for years had this as their focus, making a majority of their sustainer systems stackable on their vacs. Same with Bosch with the L-Box model, but Milwaukee, seriously? The Milwaukee MX lineup expanded a lot this year into the realm of concrete. Traditional gas units like compactors, trowels, green concrete saws, and others are all going to battery power. And with the new 12.0 battery, doing so at a progressive runtime. Even the second generation 14 inch shop saw should become a serious competitor to traditional gas saws now that it can cut more than seven feet on a single charge. There is a little sticker shock jumping into these cordless options, but just as you've seen with every other single battery platform, a lot of the upfront cost comes from the battery themselves. Buying into a kit costs more. However, once you're into that battery system, adding new bare tools becomes cheaper and easier to expand your arsenal within the platform. Small gas engines are simply going to continue to increase in cost while batteries and brushless motors are going to get cheaper by the month. Looking forward, it is hard to imagine this is not a trend for the future. It really comes down to which battery system will win the day for the mid-size equipment. And for the next one to pile right on top of that idea, getting a ton of batteries out in the market, let's talk about the Ego Riding Lawnmower Tractor for $3,999, which includes six large Ego batteries. Talk about getting a ton of batteries into the marketplace. Build a high quality motor that is the cheapest option without gas 
potentially a few million people will have this in their garages. And now that platform is easier to add on to with many other products. Obviously, these are aimed at homeowners and not professional landscapers, but if your goal is to get millions of these energy packs into the market, this would be a great product. You know, chainsaws have been around for a long time, but chainsaws have opened up our eyes to more size options. These used to be incredibly scary tools. But now they got cute little pocket sized ones to go along with more mid size availability and still the scary full size 20 inch monsters from DeWalt and Ego. And sorry to throw another cut the cord pitch at you, but these guys are very much competing with the 55cc hogs for commercial application. That's just the reality of it, folks. Take it from a company that offers in house tool repair. These battery platforms are drastically cutting costs with servicing hours. Hard hat shifting towards climbing helmets has expanded the hard hat systems. Everyone's got to deck out their hard hats, face, face shields of all types hearing protection, sunshades, integrated headlamps, and even personal cooling fans. Milwaukee Klein, PIP, Lyft, everybody's getting into this game and it's, it's really a trend that is moving further down the road. Mobile storage systems. Let's move over to that. <laughs> <laughs> Mobile storage systems have increased in demand as well as foam inserts so you can overly organize your toolbox. In the prehistoric times of 2022, we were buying these mobile units, then buying foam inserts separately. Problem is, you gotta cut and fit all of them to your tool sets. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, not anymore, bucko. Companies like Gear Wrench are now offering mega mods. It's already fully loaded, everything you need, mobile storage unit in one package. Can't beat up on gas tools and not take a few cracks at pneumatic tools as well. What a silly concept. Make a lot of pressurized air pressure, hundreds of feet away, pipe it over to your tool and run tools on air? My grandkids are not gonna believe when I tell them this is how we used to run power tools. We have accepted it for so long, but think about it. It's really a strange concept, right? We've seen a lot of the new rivet tools, band files, die grinders, really big impacts, really small impacts, and just about every other tool is gonna be obsolete in the next two to three years, I'm guessing. Not to say these will go away completely, ride them into the ground, but new tool sales, we're not gonna hold our breaths for any to air tool revolutions coming soon. So that's our top 10 innovations for this year and the next. I'm sure in a couple months this video will be obsolete with how fast things keep improving. But we're glad you stuck around with us. You agree with our top 10? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Love you. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work. Well, it's time to wap, wap, wap it. Well, it's time to wap. It's time to wap.